Well, hello and welcome back once more, all my YouTube subscribers, and thanks once again for returning to Classic Dirt Bike TV as we take a look at more vintage off-roaders from back in the day. Now, in this next picture slideshow, we'll be taking a look at just one of four special Honda Twin Shockers that were put together for the American Twin Shock race team for the 2012 VETS MXDN event at Farley Castle. So do hope you'll stay tuned as we take a look at one of these four 80R Hondas built by Phil Denton Engineering. Now this very nice 480R twin shocker actually started its life as not really a motocross bike at all but uh, was just one of four bikes that were built by the Phil Denton Engineering Company to be used by the American Twin Shock Racing Team at the 2012 VETS MXDN event at Farley Castle. Now the four bike team actually consisted of two CR250 Hondas and two 480Rs and uh, this featured bike is of course uh, just one of those uh, 480 Hondas. Now this featured machine and the other three were uh, all more or less made from second hand parts that were shipped from the USA but naturally uh, the parts were never fitted to the bikes until they'd been through the Denton workshops to make sure uh, they were inspected and refurbished to as near brand new condition. Now of course the very first thing that the Denton boys had to do was inspect and repair and modify the old uh, scrap Honda frames to enable them to fit these 480 motors into the chassis. Now of course after all the prep work was done then the frames were then sent to uh, Menai powder coatings to be painted in this lovely uh, Honda red. Now as you'd expect the Phil Denton engineering boys then inspected these old battered 480 Honda motors which were uh, then totally dismantled and inspected for any signs of wear or fatigued parts. Now the original gear cogs on these 480 Honda gearboxes were extremely worn and were really just too bad to refit to the rebuilt uh, motor and as you know you just can't go and buy 480 Honda gearbox parts off the shelf these days so Phil had a specialist engineering shop make brand new ones which Phil told me uh, turned out to be far superior to the Honda originals. Although other than the problem with the gearbox, uh, the rest of this motor was rebuilt with all manner of brand new parts and then this particular 480 two-stroker uh, got a clean bill of health. And it had to be right because this bike was uh, going to be ridden by uh, none other than the American legend himself, uh, Chuck Sun. Now the second-hand forks for these bikes also went under the Denton microscope and were totally rebuilt to as new uh, with brand new internals and uh, ended up equally as good if not better than the Honda originals. Now a top of the range set of works performance uh, rear shocks were then fitted and these are uh, top quality items and perfect for use on one of these old twin shockers and without doubt these will be tested to the limit on uh, what can sometimes be a very bumpy track at uh, Farley Castle. Although essentially what Phil Denton was actually doing with this bike and the other three Hondas was that uh, he was trying to build factory quality items out of uh, what was uh, really just a bunch of uh, scrap metal. But it was a major task for Phil and the boys to try and build four race bikes and when you consider the old second hand parts that Phil built this bike from had already seen about 30 years of racing on the track. But there's certainly no doubting the quality and the workmanship that's uh, gone in to this particular 480 Honda. Now once again this Honda fuel tank was another of the second hand parts that uh, had the refurbishment treatment by uh, PDE and uh, the bike seat was also uh, refurbished and recovered and looks for all the world like a brand new item and was uh, almost ready for its brand new pilot to swing his leg over. 
Now the 480's expansion chamber had to be uh, made to fit the Honda frame and 480 engine which again is uh, just not an easy part to pick up off the shelf for a specialist build such as this but uh, you can see that uh, the expansion chamber was actually made to fit and still looked very functional uh, fitted to this new uh, alloy tailpipe. Now many of the bike's plastics were older items as well and uh, these were refurbished and repaired and are hardly distinguishable from brand new parts. Now the bike's chain sprockets and gold anodized XL wheels are all brand new items of course although uh, that carbon fiber lower chain guide and the brake uh, backplate torque arm are all uh, bespoke parts manufactured in-house at the Denson Engineering Workshops. Now some of the bike's other second hand parts that were renovated were these uh, plastic air boxes which uh, looked very scruffy and tired when they arrived from America but now look like uh, brand new once again. But over the course of the 2012 Farley Castle weekend this 480 Honda and the other three bikes uh, would be ridden by of course uh, Ryan Hughes, uh, Doug Dubach, uh, Chuck Sun and Jeff Ward and if you were lucky enough to actually attend that event you'll already know that uh, Ryan, uh, Rhino Hughes was just simply fantastic on one of these Denton uh, 250 bikes and I think he won uh, every race that he took part in over the course of the two days. And uh, after the Farley Castle weekend was completed uh, this bike and the other 480 Honda was then uh, sold on but uh, both the 250s were kept to be raced uh, by the Denton uh, family. Now in this particular shot we have American uh, motocross legend of course Chuck Sun with his Denton 480 just prior to racing the bike at that 2012 Farley Castle event. But as I mentioned earlier Phil Denton not only built Chuck Sun's 480 but built another 480 and two CR 250s for that 2012 American uh, Twin Shock team and I must say uh, that uh, all these bikes look like brand new uh, sitting parked up here in the Farley Castle paddock. But it's still quite hard to imagine that uh, these four lovely bikes were all manufactured to this very high standard uh, from what was basically uh, just uh, scrap Honda parts that were sent over in a shipping crate from the USA. And in uh, this particular picture we can see uh, the great Chuck Sun in action on his uh, particular Denton 480 Honda at that uh, 2012 Farley Castle weekend. And so there you have it, a quick look around one of the Phil Denton Engineering 480 Hondas that was built for the 2012 American Twin Shock uh, race team. Now don't forget if these are the kind of bikes that you like to look at here on YouTube then I do hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel to see many more of these older off-roaders from back in the day. Okay coming up next on my channel we'll be going classic racing once again with more archive racing footage from the last 15 years of the fantastic Nostalgia Scramble. So until next time stay safe riding those old vintage race bikes and until we speak again right here on Classic Dirt Bike TV.